All right, welcome back to Physio Rehab. Now, today's session is about the lower trap. Now, this is really good for people who are really upper trappy and they don't have too much lower traps. Sometimes these people also have serratus anterior problems. So if you're one of those people that have winging or serratus problems, you've probably also got a bit of lower trap wingers because they go hand in hand. I'm gonna give you three exercises today that are gonna help with that. So first one is a one-arm skydive. That's what we call it. So with Michelle here, if you go flat for me, Michelle, if she's doing one hand at a time, this right shoulder, you've got to think, remember the lower traps is coming from the shoulder blade down towards the spinal angle like that. So we want her moving her shoulder blade in the same direction, which will fire at the best. So she's going to try and lift her shoulder blade, or think about lifting her shoulder blade over towards her opposite hip. Okay, so if she thinks about where direction she's going, because she can't see it. So if you lift that for me, Michelle, she's going to lift that shoulder blade just to start with. So just lifting that scapula in a direction of her left hip. Then she's got to try and put some load on it. So you raise your hand for me. There you go. So there's a little bit of load where she's working to hold that isometrically in that position. So this is like an isometric hold for her lower trap. Yes, she's got a bit of wrong one. She's got a little bit of rotating up, but it's trying to bias that position on that lower trap. Then she externally rotates to get a little bit more rotated cuff and she's going to reach for her foot. So she externally rotates that one with a thumb outwards and upwards. Then she's going to think about to get a little bit more impression with that lower trap movement down there. She's going to think about reaching towards that foot down. And you'll see that shoulder blade move. Now of course you're going to get a little bit of lap now, but because you're not gripping, it's more about the lower trap and more about the scapula coming. Symmetric holds that maximum squeeze down here without over contact. About 10 seconds of that. We're trying to do 10 or 20 of those. And now that's a really good isometric entry that we'll start to up. Then we're going to move to the third base one. So come on up here, Michelle. So what you then want to aim for is to try and do a scapular row. So the scapular row is a little bit different to a one-up row because your one-up row is going to bend, you're going to use your lats. We don't want to do that. So with the scapular row, you're just thinking the shoulder blade is going down. Okay, yes, you're going to do a bit of retraction, so a little bit of rhomboids, but remember, rhomboids come in this direction. Okay, so if you're just using rhomboids and you're not using lower trap, what's going to happen is when you pull, your shoulder's going to go up and you're going to fire your upper trap. This is where the upper trap will come in. So if you're one of those people where you pull back and you come up, this one's for you. So this elbow has to stay straight. This tension here can't be too much. If it's too much, you're gonna start bending the elbow or you're gonna overcompensate. So don't have this too heavy. But for her, think of the anchor point through the hand, through the elbow, through the shoulder, as one sort of straight line. So when you pull down, you don't wanna be doing that. You wanna be going down on that angle that way. All right, so when she pulls down, She's got to think about this shoulder blade again, same drill, coming towards the opposite hip. So she pulls that down and back in that direction, and then you know if that shoulder is coming down and in a bit, you're going to be working that lower track. Right? So reaching right forward to the top. So when she goes forward, the shoulder blade goes up. All right? So she in this position, the hands up, shoulder blades up. Then she pulls that whole thing down, and she's got to focus on not bending the elbow. Great, so that's really good, again, sort of next level up, where you're using your lower trap, there's not too much load, but you're isolating it, but you're actually moving the shoulder blade now, okay? And you're doing not a static isometric contraction, you're trying to work on a dynamic movement there, right? And then we're gonna make it even harder. So third thing I want her to do is use a foam roller. So come over here, Michelle. So the foam roller one, again, this is an easy stuff you can do at home or do at the gym, both of them. She's going to now try and roll that roller, but there's a few things you've got to think about before you do this. Hands a little bit wider than the shoulders, thumbs sort of facing up, make sure you clear any impingement problems you've got going on there. Now, most people when they roll this roller, they'll lift their spine up, they'll start arching through here, they'll arch their lower back, and they almost do a thoracic extension, which is what we don't want. So to stop that, we've got to then tilt the pelvis back a little bit to neutral, turn her core on, hold that on, turn her glutes on if she needs to. Got to think about both shoulder blades this time coming down like a V. Okay, so if those shoulder blades are sort of coming towards this part. 